A coworker gave me this Dell Inspiron laptop. He was initially okay with the slowing performance in recent years, but finally gave in to getting a replacement. Looking through control panel on this laptop does reveal a pretty old 2GHz CPU and only 6GB of RAM. I want to convert this laptop to Chrome OS Flex and at the same time maybe see if RAM and storage upgrades might also help improve overall performance. I'll see what I can do with this laptop next. I want to start by installing Chrome OS Flex. If the install works, only then will I consider looking into what hardware can be upgraded. The reason for installing the OS first is because I've had trouble in the past installing Chrome OS Flex on computers that were Chromebooks to begin with. Knowing that there's a possibility the OS might not install, it won't hurt to start this conversion with the OS installation. Something else I've had trouble with in the past is getting the computer to boot from the USB installer instead of the hard drive. I've come across situations where a Chromebook didn't have a BIOS chipset, so configuring the boot order in the BIOS was not possible. I've yet to resolve the problem with that Chromebook. I guess this install seems to be going well. Once I get through the circling arrow and reboot to the Chrome OS login prompt, that should confirm a successful install. On reboot, I did see some strange fail messages, but the boot process continued without issue. I'll finish up the Chrome OS setup, and if I don't run into any problems, the hardware upgrades are next. I downloaded this technical guide to look up any information I could find regarding the RAM and storage. I was hoping for more details, but at least I know both are removable. I was also able to confirm through Google searches that the RAM can be upgraded from 6GB to a maximum of 16GB. The technical guide contains separate instructions for removing different parts individually from the laptop. What was nice was that each of these instructions were organized in the order necessary for dismantling the entire laptop down to removing the motherboard. It makes sense to write a technical guide this way, but this is the first time I've seen it written like that. As far as this teardown, I'm going to dismantle this laptop to a point where the next step would be to swap out the storage and RAM. One thing I can say that's a huge plus on this teardown is that I only needed one cross point screwdriver bit for all the screws I removed. The screws are of different sizes of course, but I've never only used a single screwdriver bit for an entire teardown. I did still have to organize the groups of screws into separate containers, but this must still be one of the easiest teardowns I've ever done. At this point in the teardown, I have access to the RAM and internal storage. I'm going to remove them both and once I get the replacements, I'll install them both and reassemble the laptop. Removing a RAM module is just a matter of pushing the two silver locks on each side of the module away from the sides to release the lock. The module will spring slightly upwards where it can be pulled out of the slot. Removing this storage device requires removing two screws and disconnecting the ribbon cable. For the motherboard connector, I like using a thin guitar pick to lift the clamp lever. Looks like the existing internal storage is a mechanical hard drive, which is probably contributing to the slow performance my coworker encountered, something that can be remedied with an SSD. The old hard drive is one terabyte, while the new one is only 256 gigabytes. For Chrome OS, that should be fine. The OS takes up about 16GB of storage, leaving a good amount left over for your data and browser extensions. The installation is pretty simple. Move the mounting bracket surrounding the drive and the adapter cable connected to the rear from the old drive over to the new one and it's ready to be installed in the laptop. Secure the drive into the laptop using the same two screws. Plug the ribbon cable into the motherboard and lock it in place. The two modules labeled crucial are the new 8GB modules that replace the 2 and 4GB modules. I now have a total of 16GB. That's a little overkill for Chrome OS, but better too much than not enough. 
Installing a memory module is even easier than removing them. Push the striped edge of the module into the slot, being sure to line up the slot in the module with the spleen in the slot. Push the module into the slot, then gently push the top edge down so the silver locks on both sides of the slot lock the module in place. And your module is installed. I won't go into detail on the reassembly, but as you know, it's basically a reverse of the teardown. The tricky part was remembering to pass the DVD drive cable through the base plate under the keyboard before attaching the keyboard. If you look closely, I didn't remember this. I pulled it through afterwards and was glad it didn't catch on anything while I did so. I also forgot to put the screws in before attaching the keyboard, so you can see me prying up the keyboard to take care of that also. I'm doing the same Chrome OS Flex install that I did earlier in this video. This clip is more of a reminder I'm doing it again because this is a new internal storage device that needs the OS installed. I've converted many laptops to Chrome OS over the years, but this Dell laptop is one of the faster performing laptops I've converted to date. Because I use a Chrome OS desktop computer as my remote terminal to work from home, it would be nice to keep this laptop as a portable backup in case my primary computer fails for some reason. I do also use an Android tablet and a MacBook Pro to serve as portable backups, but this outdated Dell makes a great inexpensive alternative that I'd be more willing to bring on trips on the road. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.